Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in opposition to the anti-middle class budget introduced yesterday by the House Republicans. I view a budget as a statement of priorities, where we allocate our resources in a clear demonstration that we value our priorities as a nation. This budget moves the middle class backward, hurts families across my region, the state of Illinois, and in our nation. Their budget makes deep cuts to investments in, educations, in, in education, such as Pell Grants. I view education as a long-term down payment, not only for the lives of individual students and families, but for the future of our country. Last week, I toured a region of our, country, of our state that I am privileged to represent, and I spoke with community college students about programs that help make college affordable and accessible to them. I spoke with a young lady named Anna Leah, who attends Spoon River College in Canton, Illinois. Anna Leah is one of eight children in her family. She's been raised by a single mother. Her father was addicted to drugs and left their family in debt. She's a full-time community college student and also works 38 hours a week as a cashier at a local grocery store. Her family relies on her income to help make, in to make, uh, help make ends meet. She depends on Pell Grants and student loans to finance her education, which she knows is a better path for her life ahead. Anna Leah is studying psychology so she can one day work as a school psychologist and help other students with the same kind of problems that she's had to go through herself. She knows that access to education is also a pathway to so many other students in our region and again throughout our state and throughout our nation. She wants to give back to the community that has given her opportunity to move beyond the circumstances in which she was born. We need to invest in students like Analia and the future of our communities, not slash spending on our young people's futures. Let's stop pulling the rug from underneath our students and saddling them with a lifetime of debt. We need a budget that invests in working families and in the middle class and creates opportunity for all to succeed in today's economy. That's why I'm leading what I would call a common sense approach to give more flexibility to Pell Grant recipients so students can take advantage of this program year round. Many of those who would benefit most are non-traditional students who want to complete their courses faster so they can get back into the workforce and also with smaller student loan debt. I urge all of my colleagues, both Democrats and Republicans, to join with me and support our young people, our students, and the economic well-being of our communities by opposing these short-sighted cuts to investments in our young people. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.